Hey guys, really nice to be back with a WWE prediction video, this time it's Royal Rumble 2022. So, without further ado, let's jump into the first match. There's only six card matches on the card as time we're recording this. So the first one we'll start with is Edge and Beth Phoenix versus Miz and Maurice. So obviously at day one, Edge beat Miz due to help from Beth Phoenix. Now Maurice is getting involved and I can only say it only in one way, way. Edge and Beth Phoenix to win with Beth Phoenix beating Maurice this time, and then it's a definitive loss for them and Edge can move on to someone else. Probably start his feud rolling for WrestleMania by that point. Then we've got the Royal Women's title match, Becky Lynch versus Dewdrop. So it kind of felt like an afterthought her winning that triple threat match. I felt like it were set up for Bianca Belair, which I think that's what they're leading to at WrestleMania. So I'm going to go with Becky Lynch to retain. Probably to fight Bianca Belair at WrestleMania one way or another. And then we've got the Universal Championship match. We've got Roman Reigns taking on Seth Rollins. <sighs> See, people are reading too much into this. Seth Rollins is still on Raw. So, I'm not having this. He, Roman Reigns to win. I think it's just another guy who he, who he hasn't fought yet. And it's, Lee has literally run out of everyone on SmackDown now. He's been, apart from Drew McIntyre, who's obviously injured. He's been through it. Well, he, he did beat Drew McIntyre, but obviously Survivor Series, but... Literally, they had to go on Raw. They had no other choice, and I still think he's going to come out on top. I can't see him losing the title until WrestleMania, if even then. Roman Reigns to retain the Universal title. Then we've got the WWE Championship match. Brock Lesnar, finally, against Bobby Lashley. Probably about 10, 15 years in making. Maybe longer. <laughs> now, nah, probably 15 years. We're finally getting Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley. I don't think it should have been at WrestleMania, like people say. I think it's a it's a good spot to put it on. It's a, a secondary, well, probably the second biggest pay-per-view. Arguably the best one, if you like Roman Rumbles that much. But I do, but it's a good time to put it on. And I'm going to go with Brock Lesnar to retain. He ain't losing that anytime soon. He's only just won it. As good as Bob, Bobby's been the last year, he's not as good as Brock. And Brock is going to beat him. It, it should be a good match, but I think it'll be a clean victory for Brock Lesnar to move on to WrestleMania. Oh, pro to be fair, probably a limited chamber. Actually, I don't know if they're doing a limited chamber. I've heard it's going to be Saudi Arabia this year, but the, the next pay-per-view anyway. It'll be, he's sticking around for quite a while. He's been, I think he's been around every week at the moment. So, when was the last time you heard Brock Lesnar do that? It's a new man. <laughs> then we've got the women's Royal Rumble match. I had no idea last week. And then the rumour started coming out. And it's got to be, hasn't it? Ronda Rousey to win the women's Royal Rumble. Set up Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch at WrestleMania like we should have had years ago without Charlotte Flair. Obviously Charlotte Flair's in the match because why would you not put your champion in the match? It worth Brock Lesnar, isn't it? But it's not even the title on the line. That's the weird thing about it. So yeah, Ronda Rousey to win. Hopefully if I... Oh, what if they put her against Charlotte? No, no, don't get that, get that out of your head. Ronda Rousey to win, in fact, Becky Lynch at WrestleMania. And then we've got the, probably the main event, the men's Royal Rumble match. And this could go, this could go three or four different ways, depending on what happens in the WWE Championship match, whether Brock Lesnar's in the match for a start, which is the Bucky's favourite at the moment. But I don't see that. I, it's too early to put Big E back in the title picture, I think. Don't, I never say never do it again, like they did with Kofi, but not straight away. Because if he wins the Rumble and then loses at WrestleMania, it pushes him back even further. Same for SummerSlam. I'm going to go with the man who should win it before he retires and therefore needs to win it soon. AJ Styles. Put him back in the title picture. That would be pretty cool to see AJ Styles versus Roman Reigns for the Universal title. But I think they'll probably keep him on Raw. But yeah, AJ Styles to win the Men's Royal Rumble match. Don't know who the final four will be. I think Big E will definitely be in the final four. I don't think Brock Lesnar's even going to be a match. But yeah, I'm going to go with AJ Styles, Big E, Kevin Owens, someone like that. And... Maybe Edge if he's in it. Obviously, because he won it last year. They're going to have you the last year's winner go quite far in it. But yeah, AJ Styles, ultimately, to win the Rumble in the end and go on to WrestleMania. It's fight for either WWE or Universal Championship. So that was my prediction for Royal Rumble 2022. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, favorite, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Mm, bye.